What? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm moving to Dutchland or Holland or whatever the fuck that country is where they got like all those dikes and shit, you know, holding off the sea. Man, driving instructors over there, they can charge sex, man. They can be paid in fucking sex for their services, for teaching somebody how to drive. Why would I not want to move to Holland? I'm going. They also have like fucking smoke shops and sex shops that line the streets, man, you know? God, what do I want to do tonight? Teach somebody how to drive? See a whore? Or go to a smoke shop and smoke my fucking brains out, man? Jesus, good lord! Can you imagine exactly what a sign in one of those driving instructor's offices look like? Hmm, basic, basic application to learn how to drive. Five dollars for a hand job. Oh man. Reading test. <laughs> or ten dollars. Take a pick. Behind the wheel lessons, man. Ooh, face to face intercourse. That's what that one cost you. Yeah. License redo renewal. License renewal. Well, that's annual, right? So it has to be. And I'll bend your ass over, baby. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to Holland and there ain't no way about it. Got the plane ticket booked. Gonna start a new profession. Yes, I am. I'm God. Out of here. God. Now. now, you and I both know that most politicians are fucking basically liars, cheaters. I don't want to say the word, but yeah, but it's scumbags. So I kind of find it ironic. When you have a state rep urging his constituents to go buy a gun. Not only go buy a gun, but learn how to use it. How to shoot straight. And how to shoot straight, get this, how to shoot straight safely. And what does this politician want all of his constituents to do with their guns? Shoot scumbags! Yeah! Only question I have for you, Mr. Gannon, state rep from Wisconsin, who the fuck gets to decide what a scumbag is or who a scumbag is? Yeah, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Rip from the headlines of my local paper. Woman bites husband's ear off over argument over beer. <laughs> what, Schlitz? You bit somebody's fucking ear off over a Schlitz? No, I'd probably be over Milwaukee, I'm getting. Nah, fuck, that's too good for. Oh, over Blatt's, no doubt. Hmm. Yeah, in the original complaint, officers noted that Al Rao's husband was missing part of his right ear when they arrived. While searching the couple's apartment, officers found blood in part of the victim's ear. Hey, does this belong to you? Bitch! <laughs> Only Minnesota. Are you fucking kidding me, though? Jesus, good lord, people. Worst part about it is... She just lived down the street. Yeah, one of my neighbors, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Now I get not everything is funny. And this next. Are you fucking kidding me? Has some real serious shit to it. But you know what? Sometimes serious shit is kind of funny. Like the government of Brazil asking their citizens not to get pregnant yeah I get the seriousness of it that there's a virus that's hurting newborns and shit but really asking a Brazilian not to have sex not to have babies I mean these are people that do the carnival shit man these are people that really relish the booty business man oh. and you don't want them to have sex gonna have more sex and more babies and it ain't gonna be any worse than the rest of the world because the rest of us are acting like we're just as fucking retarded anyway so you know what
Well, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it might not look like it, but this one was challenging. A lot of audio problems. I finally broke down and went out and got a new toy. Cyclops. Cylon. Whoa. So it's a snowball mic. Works pretty good. Seems, to, you know, I like it. Should have done it a long time ago. Uh, appreciate your support for the last year. Got a lot of ideas coming up. So be watching. Subscribe. You can uh, watch the last vlog right there. Dot and get. Yeah, okay. Enjoy, my friends. Shot with Rod. Cuervo. Yeah, with Beer Chaser. How you paying for this, babe? You too, how you paying for this, babe? <laughs>